The Rogue River in southwestern Oregon is one of the nation's most beloved rivers. It is known for its scenic beauty, world-class whitewater, and internationally renowned salmon and steelhead fishery. It is one of the few remaining strongholds for salmon in the Pacific Northwest. It is one of the many special places in Oregon that Water Watch has worked so hard to protect and restore. Over the last hundred years, the Rogue River, its tributaries, and its fish have suffered from a series of dams and water withdrawals that have put the river and its fish at risk. Four of the most harmful dams are the Savage Rapids Dam, the Gold Hill Diversion Dam, the Gold Ray Dam, and Elk Creek Dam. Water Watch has been working for the last 20 years to reverse these trends by removing these four harmful dams and by restoring and protecting flows in the main stem of the Rogue and its tributaries. Water Watch pursued these efforts with the help of many partners uh, by testimony before commissions, state and federal agencies, uh, in Congress, before the state legislature, and through litigation at all levels in both state and federal court. Water Watch envisions a rogue river that runs free for 157 miles and that continues to be a salmon and steelhead stronghold for generations to come. This vision is now becoming a reality and one of the nation's most significant river restoration projects is well underway. One of the most important salmon and steelhead spawning tributaries of the Rogue River is Elk Creek. Unfortunately, three miles up from its mouth stands a partially completed U.S. Army Corps of Engineers dam, Elk Creek Dam. Construction of this dam was halted in 1987 by litigation brought by Oregon Wild, but the dam, until just recently, continued to block migrating salmon and steelhead. After a lengthy political and legal battle in which Water Watch played a significant role, the breaching of Elk Creek Dam commenced with a bang on July 15th. Prior to construction of Elk Creek Dam, one third of the coho salmon in the Rogue Basin spawned in Elk Creek. This September, notching of the dam was completed and now Elk Creek flows unimpeded through the notch just in time for coho salmon returning to spawn this fall. The day after the initial blasting at Elk Creek Dam, a celebration was held to commemorate the removal of the City of Gold Hills Diversion Dam. Constructed over 87 years ago, uh, this dam was identified as the second most harmful barrier to fish in the Rogue Basin. Water Watch's work at Savage Rapids Dam was used as a model for the removal of the Gold Hill Diversion Dam. Rather than face litigation, the city of Gold Hill instead elected to replace its dam with a new intake system. The new water intake for the city was completed in 2005 and now the dam is gone. Just upstream from the City of Gold Hill Diversion Dam is Gold Ray Dam. This harmful dam, constructed over a century ago, is ranked fifth statewide on the fish passage priority list of the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. This past year, Water Watch has been working with a group studying Gold Ray Dam, and we've helped steer the committee to adopt dam removal as its chosen objective. Water Watch has also helped Jackson County, the dam's owner, secure a $100,000 grant from the NOAA Fisheries Restoration Center and EcoTrust to study the sediment behind the dam. This is the first step in the dam removal process. It's Water Watch's goal to have this dam removed in the next several years. Once it's removed, the Rogue River will run free for 157 miles. This year has been a banner year for the Rogue River, but next year promises to be even sweeter. Savage Rapids Dam's long reign as the number one fish killer on the Rogue is about to end.
After a 20-year campaign led by WaterWatch, the pumps that will replace Evans Rapids Dam are now complete. Earlier this month, the district took down the dam and salvaged fish from the ladders for the last time. Next year, the dam will be removed and fish and boats will pass unimpeded through Savage Rapids for the first time since 1921. With the removal of Savage Rapids Dam, it's estimated that the fish runs in the Rogue River will increase by 22%, resulting in 114,000 more salmon and steelhead produced in the Rogue each year, valued at $5 million annually. In addition, the agreement WaterWatch forged with the Irrigation District provides that the district's 800 cubic feet per second power right will be transferred to an in-stream water right upon dam removal, protecting flows in the main stem of the Rogue River forever. This is enough water to cover 1,600 acres one foot deep every day. WaterWatch's dedication and commitment is finally paying big dividends for the Rogue. But these successes would not be possible without the support from other conservation organizations, state and federal agencies, elected officials, and concerned citizens, and without the long-term commitment and financial assistance of WaterWatch members and supporters. WaterWatch and the Rogue, thank you. WaterWatch's vision of a free-flowing Rogue River is not yet complete, and our work to protect and restore Oregon's river heritage is not done. We need your support so we can continue our vitally important work.